Welcome to Made in Papa's Woodshop. Today I'm telling the story of the making of Billy of the Hills. Billy is carved in a dying tree along the trail in Whitwell, Tennessee at Camp Chet. Camp Chet is our favorite place to primitive camp in the cozy cabins. The beds are fabulous. The cabins are really well insulated and there is nearly a thousand acres of peace, hiking and time with God. Robert from Camp Chet picked a tree that was dying to make a fun picture spot for hikers. He cleared the area around the tree for visibility. Then he lifted me up in the bucket on his track steer to top the dead parts out of the tree. Here's the canvas. Robert wants the face to face the road in this tree right here. So we'll see how high I can get up in it, standing in the back of the UTV, or if I'm gonna do it here on the ground, I gotta do some measurements and decide where the face is gonna go. But this is exciting, here we go. Got my gear spread out here. This is what we'll be working on today. Gonna make this hillbilly. He's about three thirds. So a third hat, third face, third beard. Uh, so for every foot wide, he's three feet long total. And this tree is about nine inches across. So he'll probably be 27 inches tall. We'll see. So here's all my safety stuff, my gloves and my helmet and face shield and chaps. And uh, there's a dust guard for my nose, chainsaw, bar oil, fuel got spare chains and more fuel and another bar down in here just in case this is my angle grinder and my dremel they're all battery powered and a brush there to keep things clean so i can see what's going on tape measure and of course coffee cup and then over here i've uh, got some hand chisels and a mallet this is some assortment of paints and brushes and sealers uh, in case I can't get, you know, I might need a little white or gray or black. But this is where most of the black comes from. Because this will char the, the drawing. I'll burn it. And it'll give it, that'll give the hat its black and the beard its black. And um, I may use a little bit of white over here for the eyes. And, of course, paper towels. That's always important. And so I think everything's ready and I'll get started. I decided to cut a wedge first to start working from like I was whittling a stick and uh, I shot a straight line best I could with some uh, purple spray paint I found in the UTV and uh, I used the chainsaw and I grooved it all the way around and put this uh, triangular shape point just trying to get it to about um, 90 degrees which it is pretty close and that will allow me to start making my pencil marks and figuring out where my hat and face and beard are going to go and that's a cool little feature right there yeah, to find something fun to do with that I might find a little more of that because here's another one as I get into the tree the tree has definitely been dying for some time so there we go this is fun. Look at all the sawdust. All right. Progress so far. This is fun. Look at all the sawdust. Here's the hillbilly so far. I haven't done eyes yet, but that's the change in the color of the wood. And uh, I've got his hat drawn in, brim of his hat, bridge of his nose, a line for mouth placement, the curves for cheeks, and I've flattened out the face a little bit on both sides so he looks like he's coming out of the tree. And there's Billy of the Hills. Thanks to Camp Shet for the opportunity to carve this in one of their trees as a nice photo spot for hikers. If you're listening to Made in Papa's Woodshop, please like and subscribe.